can you imagine somewhere, somewhere worse than your worst nightmares? Well, that is where I am. Well, my story all starts with a boy, a good boy, I suppose. He had never done anything wrong. I didn't want to hurt him. But there was something different about him, different than any boy. Was it his eyes, or was it the beating of his heart? No, I can remember. It was his footsteps. They would vibrate the floorboards as much as an earthquake. The sound seemed to follow me everywhere. I must put an end to this ghastly footsteps. I waited, I waited, I waited for the unspeakable sound to end. But it didn't. The sound was getting louder each day. Louder. I must end this quicker. That is when I said to work. I designed a trap which no boy could resist. A candy store, but the candy wasn't ordinary. It was filled to the top with poison. As I assembled the store outside our house, I remembered he was allergic to candy. I must think of something else. I must kill him in his bedroom with my dagger. Tonight. As I walked up the creaky stairs towards his bedroom, I could feel the urge of his killing. I opened the door. There, he was lying. He looked so cute, but I knew what I had to do was for the right. But then he was cuddling to his cuddly bear. Not tonight, I will do it some other time. I tried to persevere. The sound was too hard to bear. I then killed him. I went to his bedroom. I drew my dagger and I stabbed him. I stabbed him. But then there was a knock on the door. It was the policeman. He said, where was my boy? I said I didn't know, but he looked around. This was where things went bad to worse. He couldn't find the boy, luckily for me. I did bury him under the floorboards though. But then, these footsteps which had haunted me for my whole life started to sound. Surely he wasn't awake. It was getting louder now, louder than it had ever been. It was too hard to bear. I burst out and I told him. I told the policeman where I buried him. I was then sentenced to life. This is my story, my tragic story. These may be my last words, as I am being taken away, taken away for the death penalty. My hands have been strapped, strapped to the chair, strapped to the electric chair. Good night. Goodbye.